Dr. Fauci, I know we've had this conversation several times over the last two plus years. I think the last time you you joined us on Post Live was just as the Omicron surge was beginning. Uh, but I'm wondering, what do you see as the potential for a, a similar surge or a similar uptick in the United States that we're seeing play out in Europe? Well, I would not be surprised at all if we do see somewhat of an uptick, the extent of it and the degree to which it impacts seriousness of disease like hospitalizations and death remains to be seen. I, I don't really see, unless something changes dramatically, that there would be a major surge. The reason why I say I would not be surprised to see an uptick in infections is because the same conditions that are responsible for the upticks that you're seeing in other countries, particularly the UK, which for one reason or other, we seem to follow their pattern by a few weeks lag. And what's going on there are three issues that are very uh, similar to what we see here. Namely, there is a increasing dominance of the BA2 variant, which has a transmission advantage. It's more transmissible. And so when they go head to head with the BA1, sooner or later, the BA2 will become more dominant. Two, there's been a relaxation of restrictions, particularly the requirements for masks in indoor congregate settings. We've seen that in the UK, and we obviously are seeing it here over the last few weeks since the CDC revised their metrics for determining what a particular level of risk is in an area. And third, there's a waning of immunity. So all of those three things which are comparable in the UK to here makes me feel that we'll see an increased uptick. What the UK is not seeing, and that's a good news, is an increase of severity or an increase in the use of intensive care unit beds or an increase in the all-cause mortality, which means that despite the fact that there are cases going up, there does not appear to be any increase in the degree of severity of the outbreak. So hopefully when we do, and I think it will be that we do see an uptick, hopefully it won't be accompanied by an increase in hospitalizations, but it just remains to be seen. And you know, having said that, Yasmin, I, mean, I wanna put in a pitch that the easiest way that we can prevent that is to continue to get people vaccinated who have not been vaccinated and particularly those who've been vaccinated who are eligible for a boost, who have not been boosted, to please get yourself boosted because there's no doubt that when you compare hospitalizations among unvaccinated compared to vaccinated and boosted, there's an extraordinary degree of difference, much, much more heavily weighted towards the unvaccinated. 